In this video, we will introduce the concept of mixed strategy. With mixed strategies, we will further discuss the Nash equilibrium. So let's start with this rock, paper, scissors game. You know the rule, right? So winning gives you payoff one and losing gives you negative one and tie gives you zero payoff. And this rock, paper, scissors is um, a non-cooperative game and we want to, to analyze what would happen in this game. First, you may want to check whether anyone has any dominated strategy or dominant strategy. But it is easy to see no one has uh, dominated or dominate, dominant strategy. Then, as in video 2, we may want to find a Nash equilibrium by checking players' best responses. So your best response, your best response against your opponent rock is comparing 0, 1, minus 1. So this paper is your best response. And against uh, your opponent paper, considering the three number, comparing three numbers, scissors is your best response. And against the scissors, and rock is your best response. Similarly, we can find the player 2's best response against player 1's uh, action against the player 1's R, rock, uh, paper is best response uh, against the paper, and scissors is best response, and against scissors and uh, rock is best response. It is easy to find all the best responses, but there is no mutual best responses. So unfortunately, we cannot find any equilibrium in this game. So what we have to do? Now, we are going to extend the definition of a strategy. A strategy is not just an action, but it is a plan of actions before you actually play. So for instance, a randomization can be a plan of actions this randomization is what we call a mixed strategy. Let's go back to the stag hunt game in video 2. In this game, there are two equilibria. Both play is stag and both play pair. These two equilibria perfectly make sense when they have formed some belief with each other. But now, suppose the two players are total strangers. So you have no idea about how your opponent will play at all. Let's say you believe that your opponent will play stack with a probability of Q and hair with a, the other probability 1 minus Q. If you play stack, then you will expect 10 with the probability Q and 0 with the probability 1 minus Q. So your expected payoff from stag is 10Q. On the other hand, if you choose here, then you will expect 2 with the probability Q when your opponent plays stag. And also you will get 2 with the other probability 1 minus Q. So play here gives you 2. So now we compare these two expected payoff. You can find your best response against this belief. So if 10Q is bigger than 2, then your best response against this particular belief is stag. And if 10q is lower than 2, then hair is the best response. Of course, you can solve this. And uh, uh, stag is your best res response if q is bigger than 1 fifth. And hair is your best response if q is uh, smaller than 1 fifth. 
If Q is exactly one fifth, then both accents give you the same expected payoff. So any strategy, including any mixed strategy and randomization between uh, hair and stag, gives you the same payoff and any strategy your best response. Q was your belief about your opponent's strategy, but now suppose your opponent actually play a mixed strategy according to your belief. For instance, your opponent actually plays stack with a probability of one fifth and hair with a probability of four fifths. Now, let's P be your mixed strategy. You play stack with a probability P and hair with a probability one minus P. As before, if your opponent actually play a mixed strategy with one fifth of stack and the four fifths of hair, then this particular randomization gives you the same expected payoff of two. That means any strategy is your best response against your opponent mixed strategy. In sum, playing a mixed strategy with randomization of uh, one fifth and four fifths is my best response. If you play this randomization of one fifth and four fifths, again, this randomization is your best response. If I randomize my action in the same way, in other words, it is a mutual best response for both players to play a mixed strategy of uh, one-fifths and four-fifths. So we have actually three Nash equilibria in the stag hunt game, two pure strategy equilibria, and one mixed strategy equilibria. Importantly, in a mixed strategy equilibria, each player makes the other players indifferent between the associated cure strategy. In this situation, player one makes player two indifferent between stag and hair, and player two also makes player one indifferent between stag and hair. When you have two actions, actually you have infinitely many different strategies and randomization or probability between 0 and 1 can be your strategy. So for instance, in the second game, so P, let's call your strategy P, and your opponent's strategy is Q. Here, P equals 1, that means you are going to choose a stack for sure. That is a pure strategy of uh, playing stack. And if p equals 1, then you are going to play stack with zero probability. That means you are going to choose hair for sure. That's pure strategy. But in between, that is all, all the mixed strategy you can choose. As you compare the expected payoff, if you believe your opponent will play stag with the probability q, but q is less than one fifth, then your best response was uh, hair. That means in your strategy q, p is zero. And uh, if you believe your opponent will play stag with a priority of uh, one-fifth or more, then playing stag is your best response, right? So that is your, your best response, which is a function of your belief about your opponent's strategy. And if you believe your opponent will play a mixed strategy one-fifth and four-fifths, 
then any stretch is your best response. So you have uh, this best response, best response function. And similarly, your op point will have uh, best response as a function of your strategy, next strategy, right? So we have uh, three crossing point, which is um, mutual best responses. Here and here, those are two pure strategy equilibrium, and we have one mixed strategy equilibrium here. Here we have some summary about mixed strategy and uh, mixed strategy equilibrium. One important thing is a strategy is not just an action, but it's a plan of action. So randomization can be a plan of action called a mixed strategy. And why this Nash equilibrium is important? It guarantees existence. For any finite game, that means uh, we have finite player and finite pure actions, then there is at least one Nash equilibrium. It could be a pure strategy in equilibrium or it could be mixed strategy in equilibrium, but there should be at least one. And in mixed strategy equilibrium, players are indifferent between some of their actions given their belief about others' strategy. So in mixed strategy equilibrium, players make the other players in the game. So that's the, how we can find a mixed strategy cube. So here we have a quick quiz. And please find all the equilibria in this rock, paper, scissors game. And again, please post your answer to our uh, Microsoft Teams channel. And there's another quiz. So it's uh, kind of a game between auditor and uh, taxpayer. The auditor can actually audit or not, and the taxpayer can report uh, honestly or cheat. So given this payoff, um, please find equilibrium in this uh, game.